Mike McCool here with the Royal Examiner. Today I'm at Warren County High School. We're talking to some DECA students that placed one, did really well in the state competition, and they're going to Atlanta here soon for the Nationals. So uh, with us we have Emily, and I done forgot your name. Olivia already. Turner. Olivia and Lucas. There we go. I remember that one. All right. So tell us what your program was about or your uh, presentation and how you had, how well you did. So we actually got second in the state. Um, this is actually our award right here. Um, our project was a business solutions project that was based around our theater department, the Moon Masks. We led a marketing campaign where we rebranded and repositioned their branding within the community. And the theater, people love the theater, don't they? Yes, so what did you do? How did you? Uh, what was your I, role? I was vice president. I was in charge of human resources, basically just getting the word out there, advertising through posters, social media, morning announcements, and walking through a main street. Just kind of like yeah, just the getting the word arm. out there. Basically, Pushing their arm. Basically. Basically. Sometimes you have to do that. Yeah. Lucas, how about you? What was your role? Uh, I was the sales manager, so I helped track our sales, bring in more sales, and also I worked on the playbill crew. That's right, it's great. The theater does a really great job here. They put out some great plays and different things. Hopefully now that COVID is subdued a little bit, we'll have a little more activities and some things in our community because the community comes out and supports the, the schools quite well, I think, on these programs. So what are you going to do different at National that you did at State? Did you have some ideas to get out of second place and get to first place? Um, yes, sir. So we already had a presentation where we went through a flip book, um, but on our presentation board, which is actually something that you helped us sure, create. Sure. Um, on the I'll back have to get that it, plug in there, you know. So. On the back of it, we're going to have our metric goals outlined. Um, we are so close to our profit goal of $1,000. We're sitting at roughly 800 right now. Um, and since we have two shows coming up. I will break that. Um, oh, yes, sir. Um, one of them actually being the spring musical, Frog and Toad. We are also going to include in our presentation more of the history to include the impact on our community. Since we live in the Shenandoah Valley, we do live in Appalachia, which is a culture that is founded in folk art and community theater. So an organization like the Maroon Masks is very important and it helps rebuild the Shenandoah Valley's rich culture of theater. So you're going to try to take that message to national and win. Yes, sir. Got to put front oil on big, the map. That big trophy. Yes, sir. That's right. Well, the community supports DECA. Our businesses support you. And we hope that you'll support our businesses in the future by becoming one of our business leaders. How's that? Mm -hmm. All right. We've got plans for you. We're going to see you in a couple weeks when you get back from Nationals. All mm -hmm. right? Thank Thanks you, again, sir. Emily. Thank you. Thank By the way, Emily is the president of the DACA, DECA chapter, right? Yes, sir. Doing a good job. Thank you. Thank you. This I want to plug it one more time because I marked back here one in the camera. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute. And uh, what happened is that I was talking to Mr. Gardner. He says, DECA is like exploded this year with the amount of students that want to get in. Mm -hmm. So somebody's doing a good job. You guys are. All right. Well, we'll see you next with this next group. Thanks again, guys. Thank you.